What is up guys, Doc Redstone here. And uh, since releasing my plugins over the weekend, I've had a couple people request tutorials on uh, how to code your own bucket plugins. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, I'm not going to hold your hand through the tutorials um, because if you're just learning to code via my uh, bucket tutorials, um, you're not, you know, <laughs> going to be making very awesome plugins. So anyway, um, to learn uh, to code a plugin, you're going to need Eclipse IDE. You're going to need Craft Bucket, and if you want to test your own um, plugins, you're going to want a uh, bucket server. And uh, I just have one that only I can join, and it's hosted on my own computer. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we'll go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is go File New and Java Project, and whatever your plugin name is. Um, that's what you'll name it. Um, this is going to be Broadcast Manager, just like so. Um, if we go ahead and extend this, you'll see we have Sources and uh, JRE System Library. Um, what we want to do is right click on your plugin, um, go to Properties, Java Build Path, and Add External Jars. And here you want to pick um, your latest version of Craft Bucket and go ahead and hit Open. Now it's added to your libraries. Um, then you want to go right click on your plugin again, go new, and you want to go package. And you want to name it me dot your name um, dot whatever the name of your plugin is. Um, so I'll go broad man, just like that. Then you want to right click on your package, go new, class, and I just type in main here. It doesn't really matter um, right now. Um, but when you make your plugin dot YML, it will. So keep that name in mind. So up here you have the ta package name and then you have your class file. Um, what you want to do is right click once again, go file, call it plugin.yml and hit OK. As you can see you'll open up in whatever you have as your default uh, editor. Um, you can go ahead, I'll add this in the description as well. Just copy and paste it here. Uh, name is the name of the plugin, so broadcast manager. Version is version description whatever you want the description to be um, so um, manage broadcasts for server um, main is the main file um, so you want to go me dot your name uh, change it to whatever you put as your package and then dot main and dot main is <clears throat> um, this uh, file right here which is main.java so if you were to name this uh, manager.java then that would be changed to manager um, and then we have commands here I'm gonna leave these two commands um, we'll go back in later and edit it and you just want to save it close it and you want to right click on it and refresh it and then you want to refresh your project so that we have all that done we can go to get to work on the main.java so up here next to class you want to type in extends Java plugin just like that um, red line will come in and you want to import it from Java dot Java plugin bucket plugin Java plugin then what you want to go ahead and do is type in at override public void on disable and then go ahead type it again at override public void and this time on enable and this is what will happen um, when your plugin is disabled and enabled, um, you can go, for example, if you want it on enable to say something special, you can do uh, system.out.print line, um, whatever, and in here, whatever, and this will show up in the uh, console when they run the plugin. So I could call this made by doc redstone. So that's that. Um, so anyway, we have that, um, and that's just to save it. Then what you wanted to go ahead and do is we want to have commands associated with this. So we're going to type in public boolean on command command sender sender command cmd string command label and string string arguments just like that and since it's a boolean we have to add a return and return false 
Um, then since these are underlined, you want to import them. So right click on, or just hover your mouse over them and click org.bucket.command. And then as you can see, the line gets removed. Um, so now what we're going to do is <coughs> add it. Um, so when you type in a certain command, something happens. So we're going to go if uh, command label dot equals ignore case and then in here we want to type whatever the command is um, so we're gonna go say hello or we'll just say we'll call it say broadcast we'll just call it broadcast there we go um, and then just finish off your if so here we go so if command label dot equals ignore case broadcast so if we type in broadcast then we want to say what happens so we're gonna go bucket dot broadcast message and uh, do hello world just like that so then we have bucket broadcast message hello world um, then we're going to go into the plugin YML change this first one to broadcast and change the description to broadcast hello world and uh, we can get rid of this last one just like that We'll save it and we'll refresh it and we'll refresh it again and then we're going to go ahead and export this so we're going to shrink right click export make sure jar file selected next make sure your plugin selected right here um, make sure you name it whatever here so broadcast manager and click finish and this says that I just have to save my main so if you hit OK it saves it um, so now I have it saved on my desktop so if we go to my test server we go to plugins and I was actually working on this tutorial earlier um, we drag the broadcast manager over and we can go and we can start it and if it's all good um, it should say broadcast manager enabling broadcast manager and as you can see it said made by Doc Redstone and uh, if you go into it couldn't find a clip. You can see I put made by Doc Redstone, so that's where that will um, show up. And uh, my Infinitime plugin, which I like to run, um, as you can see, this is what actually this fancy text right here is what I put in the on enable. Um, however, Bucket does discourage that. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to get into uh, Minecraft real quick and uh, <clears throat> open up the server and then we will go from there okay so here I am in Minecraft and uh, if you want to know how you just connect to a server hosted on your computer um, you just type in um, when you click add server in the server address down here you just type in uh, 127.0.0.1 or you can type in local host um, and this is only I can join this one nobody else can join the server so if we go ahead and get on here um, if we just ignore the fact that uh, it's complaining I have an out of date, we can go dash plugins, and this will list the plugins that are running on the server. So as you can see, there's two. There's the, my broadcast manager and my Infinitime, and uh, I'm going to turn on my Infinitime real quick to make sure it stays day. Um, and then we can go dash help, and we can type in broadcast manager. And if a zombie stops attacking me here being rude. Oh, that's a spider. No, leave me alone. I'm doing a tutorial. Take that, son. Okay. So, as you can see, um, if we type in dash broadcast, it'll broadcast hello world. So, type in dash broadcast. As you can see right here, it says hello world. And if anybody else were to be on the server, everybody else would be able to see that message as well. Um, so, we're going to go back into Eclipse and we're going to make this a bit more advanced. Okay, so we're back in Eclipse, and we're going to change this up a bit. Um, we're going to make it so that you can type in a message after broadcast, and that message will get broadcasted. Broadcasted, excuse me. And along with that, you can choose the color. So we're going to get rid of this code right here, and then within this if, we're going to type in another if, and we're going to go if args at zero dot equals. Oops, args zero. There we go. Go outside equals ignore case and inside here we're going to type in blue um, 
gosh darn, equals blue. There we go. Um, then we're going to do something in here. So we're going to do for string s in args if s is not equal uh, actually we'll do this yeah if s does not equal blue then we're going to add um, s to a string and so actually right here um, before the for statement we're going to do string to broadcast um, and just initialize it to nothing so if it's not equal to uh, blue so basically if uh, it doesn't say blue because we don't want blue being broadcasted as well then we're going to go to broadcast dot uh, to broadcast equals to broadcast plus um, s plus space and end it. So basically, this will add each of these to the to broadcast, and then at the very end, we can go bucket dot broadcast message chat color dot blue plus um, to broadcast just like that and chat color if it gives you that underlined error import chat color and up at the top you can see it says org.bucket.chatcolor so um, so anyway so basically the logic is if you type in broadcast and then you type blue after it then it will realize that it's supposed to execute all this code right here it will realize it will set string to um, to broadcast and it will initialize it to nothing and then for each string that's in the arguments um, it will check if it's equal to blue if it isn't equal to blue then it'll add it to broadcast and it'll add a space after it um, and actually we're going to do this and we'll put that and we're going to go server um, so the server is going to broadcast all right, it's going to say server and then it's going to broadcast a message. So we'll go ahead and save that again. Right click, export, make sure jar selected, and click finish. And then we'll shrink it down, stop the server, and uh, close that. We'll go to plugins, we'll delete the broadcast manager, refresh it again, drop that guy in there, and craft bucket. And so as you can see, uh, it says enabled broadcast manager. So I'm going to go ahead once again open Minecraft and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm on the server now and uh, as you can see if I type in dash plugins I have broadcast manager running along with Infinita. So if we type in um, broadcast which is the command that we configured type in blue and we type in hello server how are you? Hit enter. As you can see, it says server. Hello, server. How are you? Um, so, types in whatever. However, if we type dash broadcast, sup, y'all, um, nothing happens. And that's because it doesn't know what to do um, when nobody, um, when there's not an event. So, we're going to go back in one more time. Uh, we're going to add it for the ability to change to the color red. And we're going to make it so if they don't type in a color, it just does a default so back to Eclipse okay so we're back in Eclipse and I also wanted to mention that uh, I was having a slight area issue um, with if s equal it was not equal to blue because it was not equal to blue because there's actually it said blue space and there's a space on either side of blue um, so I changed it to if S does not contain blue so if blue it doesn't care about the spaces but it sees that it contains blue and uh, so it won't add it and we're going to add a space after that so it's not right next to it um, save it once again so now we're going to change this up a bit um, to a color that's not blue so we're going to go else if um, args at zero 
um, equals dot equals ignore case uh, maybe we'll do red this time and underneath here um, basically we just want this whole entire section of code and uh, I'm gonna cheat and just copy and paste um, however I don't recommend it and so we want to change this to red this was actually not working <laughs> okay so um, this and then we want to change this to red like so and then we're going to just type in an else at the end and do this just like so and we're just going to do um, all this code right here copy and paste and uh, we're going to get rid of the contains all that and do that just like so and so basically if they don't input a color it's just going to broadcast in black um, so we have all that um, so basically you just need an else if um, arg0 equals ignore case and then whatever color um, so this is now red instead of blue then it's going to check if it says red it will broadcast in red so we're going to save we're going to export this again next finish and uh, go into the plugins just like so delete it drag and drop refresh and then we're going to do craft bucket and as you can see it works so now we'll go to minecraft and be right back and for the last time we are in minecraft so we're going to go dash broadcast blue hello server um doc and as you can see in blue it puts hello server um doc so now if we type dash broadcast red stop stop doing that George in red it says stop doing that George um, and if we just do dash broadcast this is crazy yo without any color as you can see it just starts right away um, then by default it goes to the black which is actually terrible I don't recommend it. So anyway, this is just a quick way to do kind of like a broadcaster um, and get that working for your server. So anyway, this is just one of the first plugin tutorials. Um, if enough people like it and enough people people watch it, um, I actually will consider um, doing these weekly or bi-weekly or something like that. Um, so leave a like if you like it. Rate, comment, subscribe like always, guys. Thanks. This has been Doc Redstone. Peace out.